What's going on, everybody? Pause here and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. Where the last episode, we were pretty much like a detective and went to go save uh, Dana from actually being locked in a room from her, her friend there because apparently she was sexy with her boyfriend and tarred. Oh, retarded. I, I don't see. Get it. Oh, look, it's Juliet. Victoria do that to me? Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Yeah, I know. I, it's understandable. Oh, Someone trying to, like, Zachary fuck your relationship up like that? Or anyway. Like, who does Better that? Sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zack yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. Yeah, but you he look like you were does. sad. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. It's just trying to be a bro, Juliet. Just trying to be a bro. Uh. Oh my god. Right. Still can't believe I took a picture of Victoria Coney to paint for revenge. I must be feeling pretty brave. She vowed revenge. So I guess I've officially made my first enemy at Blackwell. More high school drama. Juliet won't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexting Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive. I had to intervene. Juliet told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zach and Dana, so I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I stuck into Victoria's room, and on her laptop, I found out she was indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and a laptop. I have to meet up. Right. Oh, here we go. So, David. David's the security guard. What a dick. Well, I swear the security guard is the biggest ass here, and that's saying a lot. He always treats everybody like they've committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today, and I thought I was gonna, er, I thought he was gonna arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. So of course he would end up at Blackwell Academy in charge of security. Aren't you supposed to feel, I don't know, secure on campus? Bro, dude, swaggers everywhere <laughs> with that badge and guns, or gun like he's looking to taste, taste someone. He'd make a good photo portrait of authority, though. Who does a guy like that marry? I feel sorry for his family. I would just... It would be like living in the barracks. Shudder. Just another person I have to avoid at Blackwell to collect them all. There's Victoria. We already know about Victoria. She's a bitch. I don't want to read about her. And Nathan. Okay, so... I, wanted, I completely forgot about these, so I'm sorry that uh, I gotta go back and read some stuff, but uh, just when I thought Victoria Chase would be the worst of my social problems, now I have to deal with Nathan Prescott. But I guess he was the one who triggered my crazy rewind powers by shooting the girl in the bathroom. He's 19 and already a scary fucking prick. I guess I have little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate time, but if he shoots me, I may not be able to reverse anything. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends in high school or in high places as family's last name is practically branded on every building here at Blackwell. His money against mine. On one hand, I do kind of feel bad for Nathan because he doesn't seem to be in control, like he's doped up over or over medicated. On the other, he's an asshole who nobody has called out. And he's almost killed, slash did kill, a girl on campus. Should I go straight to the police? See, that's what I said we should do. What should I do now, Rio? My, my power? Like I said, like I'd say anything. I just have to watch my own back from now on. Oh, school days. And then our principal. He's a dick. I can't figure out where Principal Wells is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be suspicious of me at all times. Who knew I was that in... Who, who knew I was that much trouble? He wanted to know why I was zoning out in the halls. I stuttered like a fool. He has so much power over my scholarship, I get uber nervous around him. I've seen him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with me. He also seems a little stressed out. I'd be too if I had to oversee Blackwell and all its drama. I thought I'd smelled alcohol in his breath, but that could have been his cologne, right? But I remember my first meeting in his office and he was so nice and made me feel like I was becoming part of a special world. He said he hoped I'd become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. I thought that was a bit of wishful thinking, but it made me feel good. I just need to get, or I just need to lay low around him until I can somehow gain his trust. Huh. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, okay, so I'm kind of messing up things here. It looks like we're supposed to be taking pictures. Oh, I, gotta, I should have gone back. I wonder if I can. It's probably way too late now, right? Anyways, we've procrastinated long enough. We need to... Hey, Warren. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Oh. That was awkward. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. 60 miles? Warren, but then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. Eh, no worries. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see your ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things I'm she's I'm not gonna lie, some of the shit here. they say is kinda so cringy. Like, who actually talks like that? On my flash drive? Uh... Hootie, I've been busy. I'm sorry, no, man. No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're oh, God. sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Ugh. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. <laughs> Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Uh... I need to talk to somebody, just to get it. I doubt he'll believe me, but Dr. I assume this is what Warren we're talking about, house. like the rewind and all that. Don't prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me, Max. Go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. He's not gonna believe me, is I mean, he? Life changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of the Oh, students. God damn it! What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. What? Answer what me, What are you bitch. talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do yeah. it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Dude, what hey, a fucking asshole! Alone. Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Max? Chloe? No way. Wait, that's Chloe? You again. Go, go, I got this. Get in, Max. I can't just leave Warren. Get in there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Jesus God. There's no way I can walk to the town from God damn it, I can't rewind that. Warren doesn't deserve a beatdown for that. Scott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Dude, what's with these Illuminati signs everywhere? Don't what the give fuck, me a man. Face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Or the all-seeing eye, whatever you want to call it. People oh, say it's Illuminati. Thanks, okay, that's, all, that's why it I say that. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. 
I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking Isn't pictures. this like a good school for yeah. like photography it though? It be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Uh, yeah. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. You are about to die. These are fucking weird. Good reason to come back. Graffiti in the background there. No. You were happy to wait 5 years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh please, I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. I've said I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> don't use them on me, Max. Motherfucking life is strange. I don't know, like, you thought... You'd think that I... When we saw her get shot, that Chloe... Or we'd recognize who Chloe is, right? Oh no. Okay. Oh, man, are you cereal? Wow, I haven't heard that <laughs> one. Cereal. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. Dude, that's not good. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. It's kind of nice that we know who Chloe actually is now. Kind of weird situation to meet her in, though. Yeah, I saw you got killed in the... The past life? Future life? In an alternate... What is that called What after you changed back time? I'm so confused now. Dish. Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Home shit home. <gasps> Bird. Oh, what? Why did it minimize for a second there? That was weird. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Oh god, so melodramatic. Some while I medicate. While I medicate. Alright, so where's the music? Hi fi, there we go. Wait. It won't play without any power. Alright, so switch on. There we go. And now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into Wait, these okay, days. where are the CDs? Where are the CDs? Hello? CDs? Aren't I supposed to turn this on? Like, I'm so confused. Uh... I thought we were supposed to put music on. I can't see any CDs. I'm not searching through nothing. That's, like, really snoopy. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. Alright, well, I can't obviously look down there and grip, grab those grip. I can't grip them. I can't grab those CDs, so fuck it. Let's just speak. So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up? Party all night. I definitely don't feel grown-up. I don't feel grown-up. Just more confused as I get older. Especially after today. Gee, thanks. I was hoping to hear something positive. About me? No, about me. Duh. I thought you'd at least be happy taking photos. Forget it. Wow. Let's see what happens. Aw, oh, man! Wait, can we go back all the way? 
All right, well, I'll speak so tell again. Me, what if uh, I take photos. I take photos of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. Cool. So this is really awkward. What else are we supposed to do? Hey, did you find the disc yet? No, I don't know where. It's here, Max. Look a little harder. Fucking disc. Trash can, maybe? Aw, oh, no. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Uh, search. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Is there anything? No. Uh... We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. Okay, well I... Maybe through this box? No, those are just pictures. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Okay, I'm gonna find this disc, I swear, one of these days. Wait, maybe the drawer? We had such a blast. With Chloe and Max. Together. She's a killer. Warner sis instead of Warner Bros. Uh, Power Girls, Max, Chloe, and Super Kitty. Freedom Eagle, Cosmic Snail, Black Hole, Danger. It's all the way from 2007. Maybe up here? Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Well, I don't want to do that. Uh, well, we learned it's not there. Maybe it's in the bag? And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. I don't know where I'm supposed to find this disc, dude. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Where the hell is it in here? Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Beer, empty beer bottles and... I know my room is a disaster, but you can find a disc. I'm motherfucking trying. You know, if you stop just smoking the weeds ores, you know, again, pot it up on that dope, you can help me out and find a disc. There we go. Is this it? There we go. Perfect. Hey, give me that. Sorry. I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Maybe that's, that's her? That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had you dye no your blue idea. hair because of me? Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. Ugh. Uh, I really want to know what happened. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything Not be that Nathan sense. Prescott guy, like tell you what. My, life. my dad, you, and Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now? Sorry. Well, you're you're medicated, right? So you should you should enjoy the crap out of this 
Qui. It won't play without any power. Is it fucking off again? Who who turned it off? Oh, you know what? I may have gone back and turned it off. There we go. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Dude, I'm down with that. I, com I completely understand, so you know what? Let's go fix my camera. But before I do that, I'm going to end off the episode here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so happy we, we, just, we got to finally see who this girl is. And lo and behold, it's Chloe. Chloe. But, yes, uh, I need, those tools. I need to fix that camera. So, that, like I said, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like because it does help it a lot. And I'll talk with you guys in the next episode. Peace out, Girl Scouts.